What's up, everybody? Happy Throwback Thursday. Ah, here comes the rain again. Here come the storms again. And rain and rain and storms and rain and storms, rain, storms, rain. And before you know it, it's going to be fall. And then the forbidden word, winter. Oh, I hate winter. But anyway, guys, I really don't have much to show you today. I'm just testing out some new um, ideas as far as videos, but I'll give you a, a quick around the room, kind of see uh, maybe uh, some of the stuff you've noticed in my videos and maybe some of the stuff you haven't noticed. And um, I'll pick you up here and we'll take a lap around and kind of highlight some cool stuff. This koi dog here, my father shot years and years ago. And uh, it's got to live here. It just has to. Gibson Les Paul, Fender Strat, Relic. Every retro room, room has to have a Nerf. Nerf ball, there's a pop pop boat. The wax lips, there's the Ghostbuster CD. Let's come down here, there's young Kurt with the guitar you're gonna see here pretty soon. Atari, look at that 3D mirror. Or what do you call that? I wouldn't call it 3D, it's like a, I don't know. I know the name of it, I can't think of it. I'm gonna brain freeze right here. Infinity mirror, boom, I got it. I drug it out of that brain. And look at this thing here. I've had this since I've been a kid. It used to have a trailer and a boat with it. Only the best remote control car ever made. Radio Shack put that bad boy out. Original strobe light that my brother got me from one of his friends when I was like 12. Still works. An old disc camera. Who remembers those things? Some record collections down here. I got a few stashes. Brittany and our daughter has a few stashes too and I pick flavor, the, flavor of the day. I go to those three stashes. Here's a Jackson. This is a Hit Parader magazine uh, from April of 1988. That's the year I was born. And anybody that knows me knows that Dokken was my favorite 80s rock band. George Lynch is my guitar hero. Um, I got to meet Don once. I never met George. What we did the last time we saw him in concert, it was his band Lynch Mob with uh, Dokken, and he played a few songs with Dokken, and I have some video of that. Uh, he pretty much almost stepped on my hand. That's how close we were, but I never got an opportunity to say hi to him or shake his hand or anything. I'd probably be starstruck, to be honest with you. And another guy I was a huge fan of back in the day, John Cougar, or John Mellencamp, as he's known today. John Cougar Mellencamp, John Mellencamp, John Cougar, however we, we want to say it. But look at the list of the fix. Carly Simon, Eddie Grant, The Animals, Altered Images, Y&T, Elvinova, and more down here. I, I owned both these magazines back in the day. These are rebots. I had to buy them. Um, my buddy Corey bought these Mad Magazines for me, and I remember getting these every time I was sick. My mother would go down and get me a new Mad Magazine. These are two of my favorite covers right here. There's another one right here, Michael, Michael Jackson, you know, with the Alfred E. Newman uh, face on it, which is killer. But here's an Epiphone guitar. Um, this is an Ivy. I've had people ask me about this guitar. This is one of those budget guitars that um, it's phenomenal. It really, really is. I might, uh, I've actually talked to Wade, my buddy Wade. I want him to take this and relic it for me. I have some ideas, um, but we'll see. Who remembers these water rockets? Killer. Here's another thing my boy Corey got me. Ghostbusters. Here's some of the stuff that I've had forever. These are remote control, or not remote controls cars. These are uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. There's Joe, the Joe Montana doll. I wish that was still on card and I had the playing card that came with it. That's worth a couple bucks. Not that I would ever sell it. Check this out, the old Razor Flip. This doesn't work anymore. I wish it did. But um, 
That was my first high-end phone. I thought I was a big shot when I got that. Pretty awesome, but we got some cool Matchbox and Hot Wheels in here. Some old CDs laying around. Here's an old Abu Garcia bait cast and reel. That was my Uncle Ronnie's. That lives here now. Old ColecoVision games back there. They all work. Let's see what we got down here. Not much. Oh, there's a Space Invaders game back there. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Come up here. There's the uh, Pocket Fisherman. Mr. Potato Head. Original Rubik's Cube. Mr. 8-Ball, that's not an original. That's not an original Slinky, although I do have an original Slinky somewhere. Uh, let's see. World of Dance. That's mine from back in the day. I wore that thing out, basically. There's Tommy's uh, Air Jammer, Road Rammer. The Rockman 100 was the pride of my collection, musical collection right there. Uh, yeah, there's an old uh, Zepco reel. Come down in here. Here's that Squire that's in my senior picture over there that you guys just looked at. I'm so happy to have this back in my collection. Um, my nephew Ryan had it for years and years and years and he held on to it and he brought it back and I highlighted that in one of my videos. Um, everybody's gotta have the back Breakfast Club poster, Back to the Future poster. <laughs> Here's a 19, I think it's a 1990 <clears throat> American Strat. This thing plays like glass. I hardly ever play this and I have no idea why, but um, that's a killer ax, without a doubt. Man, that thunder's coming in. Uh, here's an Alvarez. I bought this from Bob Letts. Uh, Big Apple, when Big Apple Music was in Rome, Bob Lett ran that place. And I had a guitar that had a little bit of a bent, bent neck. And um, I couldn't get it to, to uh, shape up properly. I don't know if something, the truss rod was broke or whatever, but I, I traded that in. He gave me a smoking deal on this. I don't play this a lot because this has a locking bridge and a locking nut on it. It's a pain in the ass. But every once in a while, I'll dig it out. There's another Jackson, natural body. I'm telling you guys, uh, I gotta say Jackson's, they have the fastest necks. They are, they're, they're a shredder, they are. Come up in here, Simon. And there's Super Jock, I highlighted him. I had him when I was a kid, that's the original, found him in mom's attic. And here's the Pac-Man game, but this game has all kinds of other games on it. These are the games that it has on it. I don't know why it's so quiet. Oh. I was never very good. <laughs> But it's fun. But there's some cool stuff, guys. This room is where I work. It's my sanctuary. And it makes me happy when I'm in here. And I think anybody that has the opportunity to have a workspace. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot. Evil Knievel. Yep. And uh, First Harmony guitar. Right there. And the old VHS camcorder. Sweet. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Some cool stuff in here. Uh, like I said, before I close that clip out, this room makes me smile. It makes me totally happy. And I am a truly blessed man, and I appreciate everything I have. So I hope everybody has an amazing Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. After today, after this crappy weather, it's raining like cats and dogs out there. Thunderstorms and possible uh, tornadoes, they're saying. They say they can't take the chance of a tornado out of the equation. So keep your eye to the sky. 
get through this day. Tomorrow's Friday. Let's have a killer, kick-ass weekend. I hope everybody has an awesome, awesome day. Peace. Disclaimer, I graduated in 1988. I wasn't born in 1988.